In medieval Scotland, Princess Merida of the Clan Dunbrock is given a bow and arrow by her father, King Fergus for her sixth birthday to the dismay of her mother, Queen Eleanor. While venturing into the woods to fetch an arrow, Merida encounters a will-o'-the-wisp. Soon afterward, Mordu, a huge demon bear, attacks the family. Merida flees on horseback with Eleanor, while Fergus and his men fend off Mordu, though the fight costs him one of his legs. Ten years later, Merida, now 16 years old, discovers that she is to be betrothed to the son of one of her father's allies. Eleanor explains that failure to consent to the betrothal could harm Dunbrock, reminding Merida of a legend of a prince whose pride and refusal to follow his father's wishes destroyed his kingdom. The allied clan chieftains and their firstborn sons arrive to compete in the Highland Games for Merida's hand in marriage. Merida twists the rules, announcing that as her own clan's firstborn she is eligible to compete for her own hand. She easily bests her suitors in an archery contest, shaming the other clans, and after a heated disagreement with Eleanor, runs away into the forest. Wisps appear, leading her to the hut of an elderly witch. Merida bargains for a spell to change her fate, and the witch gives her an enchanted cake. When Merida gives Eleanor the cake, it transforms her into a bear, unable to speak but still retaining most of her human consciousness. Merida returns to the witch's cottage with Eleanor, only to find it deserted, and discovers a message from the witch, unless Merida is able to mend the bond, torn by pride before the second sunrise, the spell will become permanent. Merida and Eleanor are led by the wisps to ancient ruins, where they encounter Mordu. Realizing that Mordu was the prince in the legend, Merida vows that she will not let the same thing happen to her mother, and concludes she needs to repair the family tapestry she damaged during their argument. They return to the castle to find the clans on the verge of war. Merida intends to relent and declare herself ready to choose a suitor as tradition demands, but Eleanor prompts her instead to insist that the firstborns should be allowed to marry in their own time to whomever they choose. The clans agree, breaking tradition but renewing and strengthening their alliance. Merida sneaks into the tapestry room with Eleanor, while Fergus, looking for his wife finds out she's gone. Eleanor, who is losing her humanity, attacks Fergus, but suddenly regains her composure and flees the castle. Mistaking the queen for Mordu, and thinking it has eaten his wife, Fergus pursues the bear with the other clans, locking Merida in the castle. Merida escapes with the assistance of her identical triplet brothers, Harris, Hubert, and Hamish, who have also eaten the enchanted cake and are now bear cubs. Merida repairs the tapestry and rides out after her father. Fergus and the clans capture Eleanor, 
but Merida thwarts them before the real Mordu arrives. Mordu battles with the clan warriors and targets Merida, but Eleanor intercedes, holding off Mordu and causing him to be crushed by a falling menhir, Standing Stone. This releases the spirit of the prince, who silently thanks Merida for freeing him and transforms into a wisp. Merida covers her mother in the repaired tapestry, but she remains a bear. As the sun rises for the second time, Merida realizes the mistakes she has made and reconciles with Eleanor unknowingly fulfilling the true meaning of the witch's message and reversing the spell's effects on her mother and brothers. With Mordu gone, Merida and Eleanor work together on a new tapestry when they are called to the docks to bid farewell to the other clans and ride their horses together. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Till the next one, bye!